Do you guys know how China builds a lot of bridges and buildings in a very short time? China is one of the world's leading countries right now. They have a variety of technologies that no one else in the world has. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and never forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon. These are some of the oldest, longest lasting and most prosperous civilizations still in existence in China. Ancient China has a history that dates back more than 4,000 years. The Yangtze River Basin saw the rise of the ancient Chinese civilization around roughly 2000 BC. Since then, China has been ruled by one dynasty after another. Despite internal conflicts and struggles for control, Chinese civilization has managed to advance and develop since China has never experienced a major foreign invasion or natural calamity. Moving forward to the present, China is quite adept at comprehending the fact that in order to build something large, large machines are required. When this is combined with a large workforce, the result is the ideal formula for building massive structures at previously unheard of rates. China has built a network of about 6,000 kilometers of road annually in the past 10 years alone. With the aid of a gigantic machine known as the SLJ-900, China has disproved the myth that building a bridge is neither quick nor simple. The SLJ-900 created by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company is an enormous 580 tons in weight, about 300 feet long and 24 feet wide. In its lifetime, a single SLJ-900 may assist in building about 750 bridges. The only thing this machine requires is that the bridge's pylons be correctly placed in their positions. The SLJ-900 can actually extend the pre-made bridge section to lay down a subsequent segment as long as the pylons are installed properly. Once the subsequent segment has been laid down, the SLJ-900 can return and bring in a fourth segment to also be laid down. Even when fully loaded, the SLJ-900, also known as the Iron Monster, can travel at a speed of about 5 km per hour, which is faster than a stationary crane that must remain rooted to the ground in order to lay down bridge parts. Even before SLJ-900 was created, massive cranes were used to lay down bridge sections. Anyone who has witnessed a crane in action is aware of how agonizingly slow using a crane for construction can be. In contrast to the Iron Monster, which just needs a small amount of labor, it not only takes a lot of time and effort, but also adds to the project's overall cost. It can move forward and sideways on its 64 wheels while transporting and laying down bridge parts. The SLJ-900 is a revolutionary innovation in the field of bridge building. Russia and India, for example, are already considering buying it from China. It can be very useful when constructing bridges across rocky terrain like rivers and mountains. It has already made contributions to a number of high-speed rail initiatives, such as a new connection between Inner Mongolia and the rest of the country. If you think the Iron Monster is big already, wait until you meet the Kunlun. A box security erector of the Kunlun, it's approximately named after one of Asia's longest mountain ranges. The China Railway Construction Corporation created the powerful Kunlun, which has been tasked with erecting the box girders or support beams of bridges that cross rivers and mountains. According to the China Railway Construction Corporation, Kunlun represents a technological advance in the field of road and railroad bridge engineering and is the only structure of its kind in the entire globe. It can also handle tasks like coordinating intelligence during construction and resolving power supply and bridge installation issues in challenging terrain. The first 1,000-ton box girder of something like the Fujian Xiamen High-Speed Railway Bridge was successfully erected by Kunlun in June 2020. By June 2022, the nearly 15-kilometer-long Fujian Bridge, a cross-sea bridge, is anticipated to be finished. In contrast, the construction of the Golden Gate Bridge, which is around 3 kilometers long, took 4 years. The Golden Gate Bridge is roughly 5 times shorter than the Fujian Bridge, which is anticipated to be finished in half the time. As per a statement made by the State Council, Kunlun can cut the cost of erecting girders by 20% and expedite the pace by 25%. Although it must first be disassembled in order to pass through a tunnel, Kunlun's capacity to function inside of them sets it apart from other vehicles. Over the course of the previous year, Kunlun installed beams and tunnels at both their entrance and exit. China now has a market advantage in the low-cost construction of rail and road bridges after passing the tunneling test. In China's western area, where there are numerous tunnels and deep valleys that can be converted into bridges and tunnels, Kunlun can be very useful. Kunlun uses high-strength steel plates of aircraft and submarine gray. Additionally, Kunlun has an optical matrix system that scans its surroundings to enable automated driving in tunnels. It's a pretty useful machine to put it mildly. Kunlun's ability to put beams down in tunnels can only indicate that the Chinese have finally figured out how to create powerful tunneling machinery. China wasn't far behind whenever it came to boring tunnels. 
Despite the fact that the phrase tunneling nowadays conjures up images of Elon Musk's boring tunnels, Pun China, like other nations, had to purchase tunneling equipment from European manufacturers less than 10 years ago since they dominated the market. But starting in 2019, China began supplying tunneling equipment to Europe for such a high-speed rail project as Milan Verona. Reverse engineering of tunneling machines over the past few years has allowed Chinese engineering firms to produce them more effectively and economically than their rivals in Europe and Japan. Chinese tunneling equipment can create 10 kilometers of tunnel each day at a cost of $10 million. In contrast, the cost of tunneling in the USA averages $50 million per kilometer. In the Chinese city of Huangzhou, which is close to Shanghai, the CRCHI tunneling device was used to construct one of its twin tubes, the Jenshan East Road crossing beneath the Quintang River. The 15-meter diameter of the CRCHI tunnel building machine places it among the world's largest tunneling devices. Its installed power is approximately 9,755 kilowatts. Its rated torque is 42,784 nanometer, and its top excavation speed is 50 millimeter per minute. This can tunnel and build tunnel walls as it moves through the ground, just like all other tunneling machines. China is thinking of purchasing massive tunneling machines as if this weren't enough. When it comes to creating road and rail networks, China now has a very clear competitive advantage thanks to the tunneling equipment Kunlun and SLJ900 couple. These enormous machines work together as a cohesive entity to build roads and high-speed railways through challenging terrain. The construction of roads and rail networks outside of China under the One Belt, One Road program has been sped up thanks to this massive equipment. For instance, in 2017, China began construction of the Mombasa-Nairobi railway route and finished it 18 months early. Building progress on the 480-kilometer track averaged 700 meters per day. This was accomplished with the aid of a track-laying machine which moves prefabricated tracks down the railway line, lays each track down and then adds a new track over top of it. Installing the track takes only 4 minutes for each part. Wait, if you believe this is happening quickly, hold on though, because China has created a track-laying device that's even faster. A quick track-laying device, the CYP500, can lay down 2 kilometers of track on a single day. The first segment of the China-Laos railway track, which is slated to open later this year and is thought to be the longest railway track in Asia outside of China, was constructed using the CYP500 in March 2020. If you contrast the railroad track China built in Kenya to the one linking it to Laos, you'll see that it increased from 700 meters per day to 2 kilometers per day in just over 4 years. Moving away from industrial scale building, let's examine how quickly China can develop its urban cores. Nearly half of the skyscrapers in the world are built in China each year. But how is it that China manages to build so many skyscrapers? Well, if you've been paying attention while watching this movie so far, you already know the solution. Yes, China is home to a mammoth skyscraper construction tool that weighs a mind-blowing 2,000 tons. This monstrosity can create a whole floor in just four days and can work safely and steadily at even a height of 500 meters. Because of its weight, it can readily withstand hurricane-force winds. Chinese engineers claim that the wall-climbing monster can speed up construction by almost 20%. It was created by engineers from the Institute of Engineering Technology in China over the course of about three years. The device has been given the name Bonaut by Li Xia, including some of the engineers extensively involved in the project. The Bonaut, over 40 meters tall and weighing nearly 2,000 tons. The Bonaut's development team has eight patents on the technology needed to make it, and five papers in those technologies have been published. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any more thoughts on this topic, please let us know in the comment section below.